Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. First monthly reading of 2021, January 2021. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Your energy, energy of the person, people, situations surrounding you and the overall outcome for January 2021. Um, if you enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Of course, this may not resonate with everyone though. It is a general reading. Um, feel free to check out your other placements if you like okay let's see what um, 2021 is going to bring us I'm sending the uh, positive energy out there for all of you all of my viewers um, that you know I hope we can manifest whatever we want to into our lives for 2021 it's been such a tough um, year in 2020 that I hope 2021 um, sees a lot more happiness success and abundance for everyone and I encourage you to leave a comment below, guys, um, if there's something that uh, you want to manifest into your life. I'm a really big believer in thinking very clearly about it and then writing it down. I feel like the actual act of um, writing down what it is that we want to manifest um, is a very, very powerful way of bringing that into our lives um, in physical form. So what is it that you guys want to manifest into your lives for 2021? Let me know in the comments. Um, and it could even be... Um, could even be something that you want to manifest for humanity, for the world, for the planet, whatever it, whatever it may be. Let me know what you guys want to see more of in 2021. Let's get into the reading. We had the Seven of Cups um, wanting to flip out there. So let's see what else, what else wants to come out for my cappies. <laughs> Beautiful. We've got the Ace of Cups wanting to come out as well. Let's get some more cards here please okay we're going to stop there with the six of pentacles um saggy's got that in that position as well could be dealing with the sag we've got the five of swords yeah interesting we've got the judgment card and the eight of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the world let's see if we can get any more um advice any more messages or advice positive affirmations um for my cappies anything else that my cappies need to know or need to hear any advice or positive affirmations for my cappies please we've got the six of air okay so yeah i'm seeing a little bit of um similarity here with the um sagittarius reading for sure um so that could be who you're connecting with you guys could be a um sagittarius capricorn cusp maybe as well Overall, Cappies, um, this is really, really beautiful energy here for your current um, state of mind or frame of mind because we've got the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Um, this is beautiful. This is like a really new loving energy. So you've got new love here. This could also be renewed um, love in an existing connection or an existing relationship. So a new um, offer of love or maybe some kind of um, you know, emotional commitment to each other that wasn't there before. Sometimes this is, you know, an actual love offer, so a promise of, you know, engagement, marriage, commitment, something like that. It could even be, um, you know, signify conception, like a pregnancy or something like that. So this is, it's all happy though. Um, this is very, very happy new loving energy it comes from um being in a state of emotional confusion i feel as though that emotional confusion is gone maybe you um in the lead up to january you had a little bit of a choice between a few people um, maybe there was a lot of sort of different energy surrounding you and you were a little bit confused about which way to go or what choice to make or maybe there was someone making you feel like you weren't sure if they were being actually serious about you and the connection or were they just kind of playing around you know is this your person's energy are they kind of confused themselves or are they um, you know pretending to um, offer you some kind of um, stable loving connection like a true love connection or are they just pretending in order to get what they want there was a little bit of confusion in the lead up to January I feel like that confusion is gone that confusion's gone so it's replaced with just this pure loving energy ace of cups this is beautiful this is a gift this is a gift it's it's not always a physical gift but it can be some kind of emotional gift some kind of emotional communication even 
um, where you know, intuitively, you know what it means and you know that this is a loving, committed connection. So for some of you, it's going to be a completely new love connection coming in. We do have the world here. We've got that, um, you know, ending of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. So it could be something completely new coming in, or it could just be something that signifies a new chapter in an existing relationship. Either way, it's looking very, very good because combined with the Six of Pentacles, you're finally going to get what you want. You're finally going to get some reciprocation. If you haven't, hadn't received reciprocation from a particular person before, it's now going to come in. Um, for those of you who this represents a new love connection coming in January, it's going to be a very balanced connection. It's going to be, you know, equal give and take. There isn't going to be this feeling of, you know, Cap as a Capricorn, I'm always the one, you know, giving too much and my person's not giving enough back to me. I'm always giving, I'm never receiving what I want. That's, that's not going to be the energy of this connection um, anymore. This uh, connection is going to be very egalitarian, equal give and take. It's going to be balanced. Um, sometimes this can actually be an actual gift for some of you. So this could be someone showing their love through a gift, through giving you something. But um, the Ace of Cups is not, um, it, it's not like the Ace of Pentacles, which can represent an actual physical gift. This is more like the gift, the physical um, gift really um, shows this person's love for you. That's going to be the main meaning of this this gift or this offer or whatever it is come that comes through. Even if it's a physical gift, it's actually going to um, really, you're going to get the feeling that this person loves you. Um, it's, it's not about the actual physical gift itself. It's more about the meaning behind that, what that gift actually means. So that's really, really lovely. I see you in... Um, in a very positive, um, happy frame of mind um, in January because of that. Energy surrounding you, we've got death and the five of swords. So it's quite clear um, from this um, that there could have been some kind of conflict, petty arguments, dealing with someone with um, some ego issues. Now that's going to change. That's going to change. And it's, and it's replaced with this really, really loving, uh, balanced energy here, which is nice to see. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like for some of you, if this is an existing connection that improves, um, this person's finally going to drop some of the ego. You're going to have less of these um, meaningless, stupid, petty arguments where one person just ends up feeling like the victor, but it's a false victory because the other party is just kind of disgusted by what's been said. Um, there could be harsh words that can happen between you and this person. So, um, you know, I feel like the when you do enter into a disagreement, sometimes the actual words of what you two can say to each other can um, be quite hurtful, even though you two don't, both don't really mean it. I feel like it can get a little bit nasty sometimes, but it's just stupid and it needs to change because it betrays the actual feelings that you have for this individual, which for both of you is quite pure. Um, but that's, like I said, the situation is going to improve. There's going to be a big necessary transformation for those of you um, whereby this is a new love connection coming in, I mean, this really just signifies the end to all those, you know, meaningless um, relationships that just end up in conflict and drama um, that haven't resulted in anything in any sort of long term stable connection. That stuff is over. So I'm so glad because, you know, the five of swords to me, it's not an it's not a fatal card. Like it doesn't signify that a relationship is necessarily going to end, but it's 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 a it's a really um it's just a, it's just a horrible energy. It's a horrible way to live in this sort of five of swords kind of conflict. But you know, with the five and um and the death card here, it's going to transform. It's going to change. You're not going to be in this sort of energy forever, which is really really nice to see. In the outcome position here, we've got judgment and the eight of pentacles. Um, you know, you might decide or a way that you um are able to. Um, get past this um, emotional drama, emotional conflict is by throwing yourself into your work in true Capricorn fashion. You know, you get down to business, you get down to um, focusing on your pentacles, on your money, that's going to help you, um, you know, get you back on track. 
with the judgment card here yeah again it, it just really signifies to me that it really is the end of all these cards the end of um sort of cycles of useless drama arguments um things that don't end up going anywhere or don't people who don't end up sticking around long term um this is the start of a completely um new cycle and a more balanced connection so i feel as though you're finally getting clear on what's important to you what it's what it's going to take um for a relationship to actually work and stand the test of time and again the existing connection is either going to improve because there's going to um um, there's going to be a judgment call on both sides, I think, and you're both actually going to speak some kind of important uh, words to each other. And that's going to make things very, very clear. And for those of you who um, have a new connection coming in in January, um, once again, it's it's going to be a very significant connection for both of you. Um, and you're both going to be very focused on um, building a solid foundation for the connection. So that's really, really nice to see. And the final advice here is the six of air. So once again, this is all about leaving this stuff behind. We've evolved We've evolved from this Five of Swords energy. No more stupid, petty arguments, disagreements. Um, no more ego. Let's get rid of that. Whether that be you, whether that be the person you're dealing with, whether that be both of you. Let's just get rid of the, the ego and move on to something calmer, something um, yeah more serene, um, a connection um, or communication with each other that's going to be more conducive to actually taking the relationship to a new level um, and sort of getting both parties what what they want out of the relationship out of the connection so really really nice to see we're moving on from this drama you've got some amazing new loving energy um, you know taking shape taking form taking hold in January so amazing amazing reading um, it's a very nice way to start off the year with this loving balanced energy here cappies so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks again for watching i hope to see you all in the next video